Horsin' Around is filmed before a live studio audience. We are watching BoJack Horseman. I heard it was really good. But the family comedy struck a chord with America. It went on to air for nine seasons. Damn. I parked in a handicap spot. I hope that's okay. You is this nigga serious? Move the car. No, I don't think I should drive right now. I'm, I'm incredibly drunk. You're telling me that you're drunk right now? Oh, well, let's talk about real life. What have you been doing since the show's cancellation? Damn. Years ago? Um... Can you imagine if a horse really looked like that? Did that scare the shit out of y'all? In the case of one-year-old Phoenix, you are the father. <laughs> well, we don't need to put labels on things. You sleep on my couch and you don't pay rent. I've had tapeworms that were less parasitic. They wouldn't be in the first place. This needs to stop. Kicked me out and I had nowhere to go. And even though you don't want anyone to know it. Also, if you're looking for the toaster strudels I got really high last night and ate them all. Um, no. Uh, I said no. You can would have invited you to my office, but the electric company shut off our power. That's unfortunate. As you know, Penguin is very eager to publish your memoirs, but you keep missing your deadlines. I know, and I'm sorry, but I am making great progress. Chapter one. Chapter one. This is, I, I don't know what the fuck to Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> We're kind of counting on your autobiography to save the company, no pressure. That's actually a lot of pressure. Look, just give me one more week, and I will give you some pages that'll knock your ass back to the South Pole. I'm from Cincinnati. Racism. You're wearing that to the prom. What? You don't think it's cute? No way, Jose. <laughs> I improvised that line. I mean, it, it was written, but I gave it the old Bojack spin. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. You're just bummed out because Princess Carolyn dumped you last night. A horse and a cat. Slow and steady, am I right, ladies? <laughs> ha -cha -cha. Who does he think he's fooling? Turtles don't have hair. Stop and get joke. Turtles don't got hair. I think we should see other people. Were we not seeing other people? You can kill all that right Bojack! What? Everyone gets a mulligan. My mulligan was- This nigga sucks. You don't even respect me enough to have a baby with me. Whoa, what? I never explicitly said that. You said it with your actions. Oh, look at that baby. Isn't he the cutest baby you ever saw? What? 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 Fuck no. them kids, bro. Vehicle, sir. No, 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 misunderstanding, officer. I was running away from my girlfriend, whom I don't respect enough to have a baby with. Well, you did kind of just say that. Hey, stupid, isn't that your friend over there? Oh, uh, Mr. Peanut Butter? God, I hope he doesn't see us. So would it be awkward if I joined you right now? Yes, actually, it's very awkward. Is that? Why would you weird? say that? Yeah, this is awkward right now? Why are you making conversation? Oh, let's see. It's the English word. It's called being polite, Bojack. But am I crazy that this is a bad time? Erica! Get out of here with that. Would it kill you to be civil? I don't wait! So it's not because of the thing with the baby? It's because of a lot of things! I don't want to live in a society where the pre-meal bread isn't free. It is free if you order a meal. Can you take me home, please? So the check is only $10? Nine baskets, sir. Nine, but really? Great, now I'm gonna feel like a fat ass all week. You're using this bread thing to avoid talking about our relationship. No, that is definitely not happening. I'd like to go home now. You think I'm fat. So yeah, you're not fat. Oh, hey! He is chubby, but it ain't that normal for horse horses. Like Aren't you the horse from horsing around? <laughs> Who told you Princess Carolyn and I broke up? She did. What? You never took me home, jerk! But I'm not looking for parking in Silver Lake. I'll slow the car down to a crawl and you can duck and roll. You can take a last look at this face because it's the last time you're gonna see and it. Ah! He was dead ass! Bojack! Oh my god, we just broke up. Yeah, but I'm still your agent. I probably- Girl, what the fuck is you talking about?! Separate my professional life from my personal life. Great. You don't have anything?! Hey, you got the electricity back. Good for you. This company is in dire straits. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ever hear of a young adult franchise called the Swamp Monsters of Malibu? Uh, no. Then why did we spend 20 million dollars on marketing? <laughs> it's okay, Pinky. Go to your happy place. 
Uh, he got tongues. My nigga got, got ulcers, bro. I feel you. Todd! What? Did Sabrina grow up before our eyes? We're tired of waiting. We're hiring you a ghostwriter. Diane Nugent? She's great. She's cute. Call her. Th that's alone, by the way. Easy for you to say, you hippie. You've never had a day of stress in your life. Where's Gabriella? She went back to Mexico City, Ace, to be with her husband. What? Do people not like me? Uh... He really don't know himself right now. This lady probably thinks I'm just some dumb sitcom actor. I hate her and her stupid impossible to pronounce last name. <laughs> Because parties are fun? What the hell? What? Oh god. Actually, what if they're right? I can't breathe. Am I dying? Toast. I smell toast. Anxiety. Uh, well, we did everything we could. He died of a broken heart because you didn't appreciate him enough. And now he's gone forever. That's why it's canceled. You have other clients? No, I make a living off you sitting on your ass all day. Are your other clients more talented than I am? Your silence speaks volumes. You've been overstressed. I need you to take it easy. Responsibilities. He doesn't do anything but take it easy. Well, can you take it even easier? Bojack, let's have a party. Okay, I'll organize the whole thing. You can invite the ghostwriter and have a nice, casual conversation in a fun, pressure-free environment. <laughs> Is this a quinceañera? Oh, so any party with Mexican teenage girls is a quinceañera. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe this? The two of us in the same house? Is this a crossover episode? That is no, his house. I'm just kidding around, man. Seriously, though. How are you? Well, I've been kind of up. And... Living the dream, huh? Yeah. Hey. A Bojack, right? Bojack Horseman? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to mispronounce your name. It's Diane? Oh, Diane! Look at that guy. He's having fun. Why haven't I figured it out? What guy? No, there's no guy there. I'm just saying, like, a guy. Probably just overthinking it because I never got the practice because I didn't get invited to any parties in high school. What am I talking about? If you're gonna throw away most of your adult life on some dumb sitcom, you might as well get a sweet house out of the deal, right? I think I'll be very honest for a first conversation. They said fuck small talk, for real, huh? This girl wants me to have sex with her. No, I'm just kidding around. You're a good Now nah, he's really is a dick, bro. Yeah, <laughs> about the dog who adopted the three human kids? Dumb idea for a TV show. <laughs> that sound like your show. No, the story is that the guy who played the dad hated being on the Brady Bunch because he was a real actor and he considered it beneath him. Sound familiar? You're responsible for your own happiness, you know? Good lord, that's depressing. Would you even want to? You have to spend a lot of time with me, you'd probably get sick of me. I don't think that's going to happen. But don't he put has social anxiety. You see how I keep touching his arm? Oh, I see you met my beautiful girlfriend, Diane Nguyen. You have seen her naked. Many times, yes. You are attracted to this. Yes. This penis has been inside this vagina. A <laughs> bite. She's a bestiality? When? No, I mean, he got a little fatter, but it's definitely him. He looks really sad. It's hilarious. Motherfucker, play with I told you I don't know where it is. Don't put things in my butt if you want them back. What did he say? <laughs> what? And hold for Princess Carol. Bojack, it's your favorite agent. Yeah, some agent. You couldn't even get me in the room for Warhorse. Oh, uh, spirit. Probably. Okay, all right. There's no need to get. What, Caddy? Are you gonna say Caddy? I was not gonna say Caddy. Alright, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say Caddy. Laura, I know you're listening. You got it right. Laura, do not respond to him. Goodbye, Bojack. <laughs> People are so such assholes, bro. Excuse me? I was actually already in a bad mood, but I thought maybe for one night I could go out to a bar and try to forget about myself. Maybe because you're skinny, and maybe because you're pretty, you're used to getting away with things. Pretty! You think I'm pretty? But what? I was tweeting about all the weird stuff you do in bed. Good morning. Ah, why are you here? I slept here. Yeah, but why are you still here? Breakfast. What's your name? Pam. I don't need you pamming up the place when she gets here. 
Hey, Bojack. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Small dose to help me fall asleep at night, and then a much, much larger dose to get me through the day. Also, I'm drunk. Also, I'm alone, so alone. I'm filming a reality show later, so I thought I'd drop by with the old tennis ball and chain. You got the whole chat laughing. I am starring in a pilot presentation for a celebrity reality show. It's pretty cutting edge, huh? Yeah, if it's 2003. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell VH1 that. How'd you even get in here? Your roommate let us in. Mi casa es su casa. That's the third one. You and... Who are you again? The girl you had sex with? Right. You definitely should have already been gone. I really shouldn't eat chocolate because it can literally kill me. Oh, I know. But I love chocolate. Story of my life. Bro. <laughs> I can't. Yes, I am Bojack Horseman, star of Horsin' Around. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Those are my muffins. I'm sorry. Why were they in the apples? Did you That's the last box and I had dibs on them. Really? You had dibs? Yeah, dibs. McCormick, look, I've had a rough morning, so I don't you need... You've had a rough morning? I spent the last ten months! Hey! Sorry, wasn't listening. See ya! You're going to regret this, Bojack Horseman. Why, do they got a lot of saturated fat in them? Oh, man, they do have a lot of saturated fat. She's hilarious. I never met a girl who is so curious about American bank routing numbers. Still not. And she wants a framed picture of my mother's maiden name. Lord, um, I think you're getting scammed. Normal childhood stuff. Maybe if my secretary also refused to get an abortion, I would be. Mommy, can I have an omelet? Damn! You're the birthday boy. When you're walking alone, because jellicles are... Are you watching MSNBC right now? Might want to turn it on. They're talking about you. Yes, sir. Our guest via satellite is Neil McBeal, a naval officer on leave from Afghanistan. Oh, shit. He and I emphasize, from Afghanistan was his favorite brand of breakfast muffins. Refuse to respect my dibs. Have you no shame, Bojack Horseman? There is nothing the least bit funny about stealing a meal from Neil McBeal, the Navy SEAL. <laughs> If you dignify the story with a response, it's just going to fail. I'm now receiving word that we've got Bojack himself on the phone. Sorry, stop listening. You were ramping up to a yes, right? Dibs. If he had legitimate dibs. Oh, I had dibs on the muffins. I hid them in the produce section. Oh, is that what you call it? From Bob's Burger? Can you remember exactly how many muffins were in the box? Yeah, there were exactly 12. I ate 12 muffins, and I didn't even want one. <sighs> How'd I come off? You go on the roof? Yeah, just to get some work done. Is that really weird? Oh, it's adorable. When I was a kid, I used to climb onto the roof with my dad and look at the stars. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. What about you? Were you close with your father? I tried my best. No, you didn't. You slacked off and took the easy way out. In this world, you can either do things the easy way or the right way. Um, the canal? You go around the horn the way God intended. This is a really good conversation, and I definitely want to keep having it, but I just keep thinking about the muffins thing, so... I spent a year in Afghanistan making America safer, and this is the thanks I get? Really? You specifically made America safer? I'm sure a lot of the troops are jerks. Most people are jerks already, and it's not like giving a jerk a gun and telling him it's okay to kill people suddenly turns that jerk into a hero. What did he say? Oh. Oh, you took that the bad way, didn't you? Yes. Can you hold for a sec? You called me. When you're walking alone, because jellicles are and jellicles oh. I don't hate the troops. I just hate one specific troop. I don't even hate him, really. I just think that he's wrong about the muffins. It is now day three of the great Bojack Jerkoff. Really? That's the name we came up with for this? Who came up with that? Was it Randy? He voiced his opinion, even though it was unpopular. And that's what Bojack's that's what views are unbearable. After we made love, he covered himself in sheets. Like an Arab. Ayako! Hey, I need you to get me three tickets to Kyoto. Hachiju! Hey, I meant I was rich because I have friends. Yeah, ain't your nigga yeah, filming a uh, uh, reality TV house. show? Do we really need to be filming this? It's for my reality show. Uh, that's what I'm saying! He's willing to publicly forgive you if you publicly apologize and present to him a box of muffins as a symbol of your great admiration for the American military and everything they do. Oh, you were saving those? I ate those too. We've been here for ten minutes! 
Well, look how she ate that. And there on me, I just found out I got 80 bucks in the bank. I'm helping! Do I have to go on MSNBC? No, we Adorable. should do I know tempers are high, but let's not take it out of the great title for my reality show, which we all agree is really clever. No, it's not. You look like a dumbass, bro. Yes, this is all very authentic and natural. <gasps> Someone's at the door! Thank you for inviting me into your home. It is lovely. This is fake as fuck. But my bank card got declined for some reason, but don't worry. I still saved the day because I- She really took the $80 out of his bank. I'm listening. We send our muffins overseas and they come back as stale hamburger buns. But that doesn't mean we should love them any less. You think I'm a hero. Well, I don't know if I- Say it, Bojack. Say I'm a hero. You're a hero. The troops are all heroes. Celebration of our military by a nation that claims to value peace, telling our children that violence is never the answer, while refusing to hold our own government to the same standard. Yeah. Now listen! That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Fucking you know nothing about that! Yeah. Message! Mr. Peanut Butter got a bucket stuck on his head! Guys, guys, where is Oh, he came through! Who gave him a bucket? <laughs> uh, actually, I had another point I wanted to make. Oh, thank you, my friend. You're a real hero. Unbelievable. What's your name, young lady? Well, my real name's Angela, but my friends call me Jelly. They all just want to hear what they already believe. No one ever wants to hear the truth. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Look, I can write you the standard empty calorie celebrity tell some if that's what you're looking for. But I thought you might want more than that. I do. Well, then you're going to have to open up. You want to know about my parents? They drank. A lot. My father was a failed novelist. My mother was the heir- He actually seemed like a really good human being. Which he called fancy Jew nails. Like I said, totally normal. Hey, where's Sabrina? Not hiding under the table, that's for sure. It's, she also from Bob Springer, right? You stick with me, and I promise you, everything's gonna be just fine. Cut! Boom in the shot! What? I'll be in my trailer. Yeah? Well, those boobs and jerkwads are the best friends you'll ever have. Without them, you're nothing. Your lovers will leave you or try to change you, but your fans, you be good to them, and they'll be good to you. You gotta give the people what they want, even if it kills you, even if it empties you out until there's nothing left. Okay, okay, no this, this advice happens. going south. But on her new dance pop album, Sarah Lynn wants you to know that she is hot to drop. After all, she is 30. Here to answer that question, sexy 14-year-old dubstep wonderkin, Sextina Aquafina. Hey. What did he say? Hey. Oh, the bird got a blow to get some seed around here. That was a good one. Oh. Play with me. Like a buying you a new bed. Sarah Lynn and Andrew Garfield. Huh? Ah! What's the bitch? I'll just make it out to Evelyn. Uh. Um, hi, uh, Sarah Lynn. Hi. Bojack. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. When we started dating, you were the biggest star in the world. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Who wants to see me take a dump on that soap? At least we got to bond a little on the drive to Malibu. I can see my organs. Oh. Doctor Who. Yeah, I don't think that was... <laughs> oh, goddamn. Yes. Yes, you can move in with me. This is gonna be fun. And these pancakes are so good. All Andrew ever wanted to eat was stupid lasagna. Andrew Garfield loves lasagna. Of course. Questions, what are you? The cop that pulled me over after Adam Levine's Halloween party? Honey. It sounds like your life went downhill after Adam Levine. Honey, of course your friends are always welcome here. Cool, bye. She broke up with her boyfriend, she stabbed herself and closed the wound with duct tape. She fired her agent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up, horsey. Did you say Sarah Lynn doesn't have an agent? A white whale. Hey, hey, hey! There, leave her! <sighs> Hi. What it is, banana bread? I'm not looking for a new agent right now. Wow! You. Vanessa Gecko is actually Andrew's agent, and she's really great. Is she? <laughs> I've heard that. Society. Or if claiming to do so, it's just a lie we tell ourselves so we can more comfortably cater to the male gaze? 
on the other hand, I worry that conversations like this one often dismiss her as a mere puppet of the industry. Um, what are you doing this weekend? I don't know. I'll probably just go to the amusement parks on set. Then I'll head back to my place to watch any number of Disney princess movies while eating ice cream straight from the tub. Like I want to spend my weekend hanging out with a little girl. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that you inviting Sarah Lynn into your house now is your way of compensating for not No, really Diane. I'm just helping out a friend. I thought this was a place where Sarah Lynn could finally be Sarah Lynn. But I guess... <laughs> That's you doing drugs. Sarah Lynn thing is getting out of control, okay? She's taking advantage of you. What? No, she's not. We have a special relationship. Oh, can y'all kick these niggas in her back out first? Some good old fashioned love, and I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give it to her so hard. What did he say? You know, Sarah Lynn, I got a feeling everything's gonna be oh. Okay. Is this your TV Guide Award? It's the most prestigious award I ever won. I always thought if I ever had kids of my own, I'd give it to them one day. This pawn shop on La Cienega was selling one with your name on it. What? Wait, why were you at a pawn shop? Oh, I just have a guy there who calls me whenever TV awards come in. But then I already have a billion other awards, and I wanted to get money for drugs. Look, things have been tough for you, and I understand that. She needs help. Here in your little house and feel sorry for yourself? Oh, guess what? Little house. You're just a rugged older man who provided me with a strong masculine presence during my formative years. I'm not your dad, and you're not my child. Isn't that your dad? Oh, you can kill all of that right now. Seriously, don't know. I'm a bad little girl. Yeah, you are bad. But how do you not get that this is terrible? Oh, you mean from a PR standpoint? Yeah, because if this got out, oh, I would get flayed. Ugh. Feels like you're the one taking advantage of her. She's the one with substance abuse problems and daddy issues. Hey, we both have substance abuse problems and daddy issues. <laughs> well, I told you I'm not going to do it unless I get points. Oh, they can't find any? Well, maybe they could suck some out of my dick. <laughs> I'm on the phone. You're being very rude. Oh, by the way, I called Vanessa Gecko and I'm meeting with her tomorrow. Thanks for the suggestion. No! No, 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 no! Hey! Uh. <sighs> Laura, the dummy took the bait. Now for phase two. Meetings with his ex. Get it all over town. Wait an hour, then get me lunch with Andrew on the books for this weekend. Okay, mastermind. So, what you're saying is, everything is society's fault and we as individuals never need to take responsibility for anything. Everything is because of society! Well, check the Dude, just let him have this. Hooray! I am a horse. My face is long. You get it, right? Dad, keep this up, and the only thing we're gonna get is our money back. <laughs> Asking people if they get things. But then how do I know if they got it? They'll laugh. Big shots like me to all... Not a year. The little guy. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, I don't drink. Buzzfeed? What'll they think of next? Fun fact, Wayne is also my ex-boyfriend. Ha, <laughs> you're funny. Classic Zoe. I still don't know what that means. Well, are you familiar with Mr. Peanut Butter's house? Butter's house featured a pair of twins, Zoe and Zelda. Zelda was the sunny, fun-loving, whereas Zoe was the smart, cynical introvert. My pumpkins' Halloween costumes are a gateway to casual racism. I keep the sure. So which one are you, Bojack? I think I'm above this. Said the Zoe. Probably won't ever finish the rock opera I'm working on. What? <laughs> Since when are you working on a rock opera? Planet rich with loam. Loam? Rich with loam. Uh, one. And I don't say this lightly. Worse than a hundred September 11ths. Yeah. Jesus. You're right. This was stupid. Tell me about Todd. Todd? What's it tell? Five years ago, he found his way into one of my house parties and never left. And you've never asked him anything about himself? Teresa. But do you let him stay here because you're kind or just because you're terrified of being alone? That is insane! Help you with your dumbass rock opera. What? I am supporting you. I, I don't understand. Oh my god, are you dying? I don't see why we can't make something really great here. Okay, thank you. I'll work on that. The effects, the effects of, of the elixir, elixir of failed, failed remembrance, remembrance so, so they, they could bring, bring the secret knowledge, knowledge from the from cave, cave back to her and then establish Newtopia as a vassal state to the Craterman Kingdom! Uh, that was great! This train is moving! <laughs> Let's take a break and get lunch. You know I love Diane Arbus. <laughs> I see what's happening here. Her name is Diane, and your name is Diane. What? 
I've actually been meaning to go myself. Oh, man, you guys are perfect for each other. That game basically destroyed my life. I flunked out of school. My girlfriend left me. I mean, I didn't stop playing until my mom threw me out of the house. Well, I feel like we got to take this. Hello? Hello? Bojack Horseman? We have some very delicate pictures you might have an interest in. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm having lunch with my friend. But if you just listen... Make us... But in all... It's spellbinding. All right. Woo! Nah, well, it's nothing. Maybe the Zoe has a little Zelda in him after all. I appreciate the sentiment, but I still think that game is stupid. Hey, Bojack, don't make this about me. I've seen what happens when baby birds get pushed out of the nest too soon. It's not your fault. An initial here, 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 and here. Right here. And the last four digits of your social. Okay. This just came out. Todd, put it down. Is this really only a dime? If it's in there, that's the price. Todd, this is a bad idea. Oh. All sales are final. Come on. Lom, lom, lom. Rock opera. More like schlock flabra. No, of course you don't. Maybe Todd's worse off today, but you're worse off in the long run because you're gonna die alone and unloved. Fool me once, fool me twice, fool me chicken soup with rice. I guess there's. Oh my gosh! Piece of junk anymore? Hey, no, hold on to that. Why don't you just put it in the living room closet? Really? In fact, from now on, you can keep all your stuff in the living room closet. I think it's pretty obvious to everyone that you shouldn't be with Mr. Peanut Butter. You should be with me. No, I I've dated you. You're trying to be a Zelda, but you're so obviously a Zoe. Ugh, don't label me. You don't know who I am. You can live your happy Zelda life in this happy Zelda town. Carefree and he's loving. But you and me, we're Zoe's. Yeah, I bought this earlier and I'd like to return it. I don't know where the receipt went. Cool. And we're sad and we're mean. Martindale. I don't feel good about what we did here, Bojack. I don't know what you're talking about. This never happened. Big as your head, but someday soon that darkness is gonna come out. And when it does, I want you to call me. Damn! <laughs> I don't like, I don't like that, that guy. guy. Oh my gosh. You know who I am? On, I'm actually a huge celebrity on my way to New York for an imp. Give me 10 seconds, Diane. This guy's being a total fascist. Diane? Dan? Over here, Bojack. How'd you get through so fast? I followed the basic requirements for air. Uh, Could be this. Oh! He's got a gun! Relax, it's a lighter. Sneak apps if I stay out of California for a little bit. Always nice to get a change of scenery, am I right? I think the New York air's been good for my health. I mean, I did find a lump, but functional. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Horseman. She's too functional. Why don't I just get on the phone and call a less functional... What are you talking about? That was my brother Tommy. My dad just died. Oh, my God. Did we talk about firming up the release date? I was thinking late September. I she is, is cold-blooded, ain't it? Pick me up at the airport tomorrow, and until then, don't do anything. <laughs> don't worry. You can wait in the car. Probably better you don't meet my brothers. They're narrow-minded, mean-spirited dirtbags. I wish I had brothers growing up. Imaginary friends are freeloaders invented by communists to rip off welfare. Dream of waking up as Chelsea Clinton, but with my hair. You do have great hair. I know. Do not like them apples, Dee Dee. Yo, Dee Dee, get me a beer. Yeah, make that too, Dee Dee. Gary, Marty, I just got home. Fight while the game's on. It's bad juju. It's the 86 World Series. They lose. Ah! Oh, got to... oh my God. Is that dad? Did someone draw balls on his forehead? It's a great day on Todd's phone. How can I help you? Are you trying to cut me out of this David Boreanaz deal? I'm your agent, damn it. Well, out of combinations, now I'm bored. Diane! Yes, hello, I'm looking for Diane. Does anyone here speak English? Star! Oh, he eats grapes just like us? Hey, Ma, Ben Affleck eats grapes! Hey, no! Great. We hired a homeless guy to pretend to be Leo and take it in a homecoming dance. Oh, wait, what? My room, Todd. I'm David Boreanaz. You mean... Uh, that's right. His house. I've gotten used to a certain lifestyle since Boreanaz's house went public, and I'm not going back to the old way. Mommy likes it was literally an hour ago. She's writing a book that's not even going to have her name on it. You think this is how she expected her life would be going at 34? She lives with her rich boyfriend and doesn't pay rent. This is a hot ass mess. Hey, Diddy, come on. 
Diane. <laughs> you are making a public spectacle of yourself. Orianna's, I presume. Um, would you like the Boreable head? Keep reading. You're a good person, Diane, and that's the most important thing. Even if no one appreciates you, it's important that you don't stop being good. Some modicum of closure. Closure is a made-up thing by Steven Spielberg to sell movie tickets. It's like true love and the Munich Olympics doesn't exist in the real world. He's like it of ice, Lowning. Who's the best? Your dad can't hurt anyone ever again. Uh -oh. A jump? Ah! Look, I, I, I think we have some unfinished business. It seems like life's too short to hold grudges and, and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Bojack. Pick up. Pick up. I'm sure he'll pick up. It's Bojack. You know what to do. Oh, uh, it's a pet name. I don't have actual honey. <sighs> I do believe so, yes. Hey, why don't we give Bojack a ride? That's a... I'm someone <laughs> jealous. Be stiller, my beating heart. Stiller crazy after all these years. <laughs> Do I have anything to worry about with you and Diane? What? That is a relief. <laughs> really? Because he didn't really give you a response. Oh, I actually already made special plans for just the two of us. Oh, come on. You're the one who's always saying you want to hang out with Bojack more and how it's... Okay. Well, if you I... like Bojack, yes, you gotta be more aware of your words, bro. Welcome home, honey. I got you a dependent. Because I'm dependent on you. Waiter, give me a bottle of Dom to keep with the trend of sweet D gifts. You're too kind, but everyone knows you go off menu for the good stuff. I'd like to buy you all an Xbox, courtesy of me. Ew, you lost. Who the fuck want an Xbox? We have a lot in common. Being white into cleansing. I think you'd enjoy hanging out with me in the gang. Is he a skinhead? I had to carpool home from the airport like a goddamn environmentalist. I'm sorry, but I'm in jail, dude. Well, you called the right person. This was life or death. Stay with me. The bell said at 50 bucks. I'll be here when. Just 50 bucks. <laughs> night, Bojack. Good night, Diane. Well, that worked effectively. It's Who wrote this copy? Randy, looking at you. Weird. I can't work on the book today. Too ill. Cough. Are you ill or hungover? Because instead of coughing, you just said the word cough. See you later. <laughs> but we had an appointment. What's that? An actor flaking on an obligation? Welcome to Hollywood. It was me. I stole the D. What? Now be a good agent and make this not my problem. How did you even... Get out of here. You stole the D for Diane. Unbelievable. He loved falling in love with his employers. Employees. Look, I'll keep your little crush busy long enough for you to get rid of the contraband. But the next three weddings I'm invited to, you're my date. And also, what did I do? Oh, I listened to the voicemail you left me saying you were stealing the D because of Diane so I could, and I quote, suck your D. Okay, but just don't pursue her romantically. Deal. Ah, I knew I'd get that handshake. Did you just call me here to insult me? What is your secret, lady? I mean, how do you get two grown men fighting over you like a... F Nobody is fighting over me. Open your eyes. Bojack's clearly in love with you. What? You beautiful bastard, that's it! We can pick up the D with your chopper, fly it out of here, and then dump it out in the ocean. Well, juggling both never ends well. Mr. Peanut Butter, anything to contribute? Bail me out of here. As I said, it's only 50 bucks. Gotta go, pal. Hope it's a magical night. Everyone pay attention to me! Oh, it's only one dollar bills, folks. Guess? Ooh, ooh, ah! Jesus Christ! My ankle! Fredder Beyonce is hurt! Ooh. Somebody ah! help her! Ring the alarm! Irreplaceable pop icon and independent woman beyond- What happened? These well, puns are fucking all stupid, all bro. All I hate this show. All the single dollars? All the single dollars. Bills, bills, bills. We I and I alone stole the D from the Hollywood sign. I did it all for my girlfriend, Diane. We now await the LAPD's move. The day they make love a crime is the day I turn in my badge. Well, I guess it's the best way to go. Uh, Mr. Peanut Butter, uh, kind of a lot. I don't really like to be on camera. You look. You look beautiful, Holmes. Got a do rag. I have no idea what you're talking about. I do have a life outside of you, you know. Mr. Peanut Butter took my D and gave it to Diane. But stealing it for your girlfriend as a grand display of affection? That's Mr. Peanut Butter. You're right. It's Mr. Peanut Butter all over. Why are you wasting my time with this? Of course I would. Who wouldn't? Huh?
hey, no disrespect, but I got a few chess pieces I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever put that do rag on them sucked ass, bro. That's what the Diane I know would want. What are you saying to me? Just that you should be with someone who knows you. Yeah? Like who? I uh, difficult in any way during this process, you know, it's it's really hard to have somebody This was Bojack, by the way. Horseman, obviously. Will you do me? Wow, this is happening so fast. Yes! She's not gonna call. Get out, get out. This get out. nigga is an ill. I saw you left me a voicemail. It's Delete it. It's just a drunken recipe for bunt cake. Not important. Okay. I gotta go. They're about to move the D back. You guys aren't so different. You lucky bastard. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, I love you. Thank you for watching this long video. And I know it was long. Love you. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment if you want. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, it'd be down in the description below. Be good. With guys, I sacrifice. Cause you could not sleep without it, girl.